boys and girls. Today we are going to learn how to show and count back change for one dollar. So we're going to pretend that we are in a store and um, I want to buy this item and this item is 90 cents. Well if I have a dollar do I have enough to buy this item? If you said yes you are correct. Not only do I have enough to buy this item, but I'm going to get change back. So this item is worth $1. Okay. And I am going to be spending 90 cents to buy this item. Okay. Now I can do the subtraction problem. All right. Zero minus zero equals zero. Okay. 10 minus 9 equals 1. So I have 10 cents left. So my change back would be 10 cents or whoop, one dime. Okay. So um, we can also count by tens, right? I know that 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 10 more to get to a dollar. So I would get 10 cents back. All right. All right, I'm going to buy something else because we're still at our store. Okay. So I'm going to put that back and I'm going to pretend that I'm going to buy, let's see, I'm going to buy this marker and this marker is 70 cents. Well, I have a dollar. Do I have enough to buy this marker? Yes, I do. I want you to think, how much change would you get back if you have a dollar and you're spending 70 cents? So I have one dollar and I'm gonna spend 70, okay? I can figure it out this way or I can say 70, okay, I can count by tens. So I would say, 70, 80, 90, and one dollar. So if I have three dimes, how much, whoops, how much money would I have right here? Three dimes is worth 10, 20, 30. 30 cents I would get back in change, okay? I keep dropping these coins. All right. <clears throat> so if I did it this way, then I can do zero minus zero equals zero, 10 minus seven equals three. And so my answer would be 30 cents in change. Well, what happens if I was buying something that wasn't by tens? Okay. What if I wanted to buy something and it was worth 50 cents? Okay. Or Let's say 75 cents. Let's do that instead. So um, let's see. I'm going to buy this awesome box of Band-Aids for 75 cents. Okay. So I have a dollar. And I am going to spend 75 cents. Well, if you remember how to count by 25s, we go 25, 50, 75, 100, 4 quarters make a dollar, hands up and holler. So this would be 4 quarters. How many quarters is 75 cents? Well, let's count. Let me grab some quarters. Okay, so let's see, I have 25. Fifty, seventy-five. Okay, so three quarters equals seventy-five cents. All right. If I added another quarter, that would give me a dollar. Well, I've got seventy-five cents that I'm going to spend on my box of band aids. Okay. So how much money would I get back? The answer is one quarter. 25 cents, okay? Because I would spend 75 and get one quarter back. 
That would be my change. All right. Um, this, you guys, is super easy um, depending on how you look at it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solve this problem. Okay. Um, so my answer would be 25 cents. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to be looking at 25s and 10s on your paper for today. You are going to have, um, actually, you're not going to have any of them. So we're going to do some more practice before we actually have um, problems to do on our paper. So keep practicing. Um, the best thing that you can do is play with money at home and ask your parents to um, give you a dollar in change and then ask your sibling to uh, say that something is worth something and then count your change back. Um, that's gonna be the way that you guys figure this out and understand it the best is that if you're playing with money, it's kind of hard to um, do it to the best of our ability um, on a video. So try at home and if you need help, we're gonna continue to practice. All right, I'll see you guys later.